Hi everyone, here is another interesting example of Newton's law where the three blocks of masses M1 4 kg, M2 3 kg and M3 7 kg in this animation are released from rest and move without friction. We would like to find the acceleration of the blocks and the tension in the strings. Note that since the strings are massless and pulleys are massless and frictionless, the tensions on either side of each pulley is the same but the tension on the left and right side of M2 are different. Also, because the strings have fixed lengths, the magnitude of acceleration of the blocks are the same. We consider each one of the masses one by one. For M1, we have M1G and T1. And it's accelerating up because M1 is lighter than M3, this one accelerates up, this M2 accelerates to the right, and M3 accelerates down, right? So this is free by diagram for M1. Writing sum of Fy equal to May gives us T1 minus M1G equals to M1A, right? So this is an equation but we don't know A, we don't know T1. Then we do three by diagram for M2. We have a T2 applying this way and T1 pulling this way. So we have T2 and T1 and then we have normal force and M2G and the acceleration is in x direction. This is free by diagram for M2. And if you do sum of Fy equal to MAY, AY is zero because A is in the x direction. So it just gives you M2G equal to N. That does, that's not very helpful. So we do sum of Fx equal to MAX for this one. We have T2 minus T1 equal to M2 times A. X component of A is just A. So that's again. Now one equation, now three unknowns. So we have two equations, three unknowns. We need to have another equation. That comes from M3. For M3, we have M3G and T2 in X direction, Y direction, and the acceleration is downward. So now, doing sum of Fy equal to MAY for this one, sum of Fy means T2 minus M3G equal to M3, the mass, times y component of acceleration, which is negative a. In order to make this positive, I multiply by a negative sign, we get M3g minus T2 equal to M3 times a. And this is my third equation. Equation 1, equation 2, equation 3. All right, now it's a T1, T2 minus T1, M3 minus T2. So you have T1 and negative T1, T2 and negative T2. If you add all the three equations, what happens? Both T1 and T2 cancel out. What do we get? We get M3G minus M1G. That's all we get on the left-hand side. On the right hand side, you have M1A, M2A, M3A. We add them in M1 plus M2 plus M3 times A. You can look at this equation. It tells you the net force acting on the whole system is equal to total mass times acceleration. Isn't that neat? M3 is 7 kilogram, M1 is 4 kilogram. So it will be 
meter per second square. And then you can use this equation to find T. T1. According to this equation, T1 is M1G plus M1A. So M1 times G plus A from equation 1. M1 was 4 kilogram times uh, 9.8 plus 2.1. So T1 will be 47.6. Okay, you can use this one. You get T2 equal to M3G minus M3A. T2 equal to M3G minus M3A or M3 times G minus A. G 9.8 minus 2.1 times M3 which is 7. So T2 will be 53.9. And then, if you check this to make sure that everything works out, T2 minus T1 should be M2 times A. T2 is 53.9 minus 53.9 minus 47.6 should be equal to M2, which is 3 kilograms times 2.1. Does it make sense? That I think from 6.3 is 3 times. 2.1